<laughs> hey guys, um, I'm here with Breach Lang, one of my favorite bands in the whole world. Um, you guys just, um, you guys played uh, Groove Rock just a couple of hours ago. Uh, the first tour in Europe, your first show in Europe, and immediately the best festival in the whole world. I can say that. Um, how does it feel? Like, what, 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 are, what were the like general feelings afterwards? Like, yeah, well, I mean, you know, it goes without saying, it feels amazing. It, you know, I, I, I suppose it's all downhill from here, right? It's like, I mean, I don't know how we're gonna top this thing, but uh, we're certainly gonna try next year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, we're in Europe for another two weeks, so we're gonna every night we're gonna we're gonna go at that, like it's you know this thing, and um, I don't know, it's like, I've, I've said it earlier today, but I'll just, it bears repeating, so I'll say it again, like, we've been playing, like, adjective Olympics to try to describe, like, how amazing this has felt, you know, and, like, we can't find the word. I, I, I suppose it hasn't been made yet, because it's better, like, I could say, oh, it was amazing, it was incredible, it was fantastic, and those all fall so short of how it really felt, that, like, it's been blank. Like it's been like TBD. Like I'm trying to it's determine. It's a word that's on the tip of our tongue. Yeah. And we'll find. We'll, we'll we'll think of it. You know, a day from now, and be like, that's the word. But yeah, that's like, how it felt. Like I I mean, when I was on stage, I I remember bits of today, right? And what the I remember all the best things. I remember saying something like. When I'm about to die and I write the book of my life, this will be the longest chapter today. I think maybe that that's right now the best way I can describe how today's so, yeah. Thanks, man. I don't know, unexpected, awestruck, like... Unexpected. Yeah, like, like I, you know, I, we thought we'd play to our tour manager, you know, we ended up playing to, like, a whole bunch of kids who, like, really cared about what we were saying, you know, I just, like... When we stepped out and people started clapping and, and yelling the name, you know, it was like, shit, this is happening, like, this is, we're here and this is happening now. It, it goes from, like, being a fantasy to a reality. Um, surreal is all I can come up with right now. And I know that there's a better word to describe it, but it's just, it's escaping me right now. I did when I finally had the courage to open my eyes for the first time. Oh yeah. I was like, because I remember we sound checked and like there was n like no one, right? It's a sound check, but we started making noise, so a few people filtered in. And I opened my eyes and maybe there were 50 people there, and I was like, "Fuck, this is going to be an awesome show." There's like 50 people here already, and then we, we went we went back a little bit to like our start time, and we came back out, and I was like, "This is going to be an amazing show." And then I start to play, and maybe after a couple songs, I finally open my eyes and I'm like, "Holy fuck, man! This totally is it ridiculous." Was, yeah. yeah. It was beautiful. This is an ocean of smiling faces. It was really great. That's what it was. It was either people singing back to us or maybe people who took a chance on us and heard us for the first time and were just smiling like it was just like stretched across their face and I was like that's in, in our dream heads, that's exactly what we wanted today to be. Like we didn't think that that could be a real a real a real thing, but it was. And we were like if, you know, if this if this were a movie and I scripted it, it would have looked exactly like it was today. So I'm beaming. You know? <laughs> It's a different girl every time. Um, yeah, it was the first cover is my friend Amanda. I went to art school with her. Um, the second cover is our, our friend Jessica, who's our tour manager. Yeah. In, in the States, our tour manager, yeah. Um, and really what it is, like, I, I mean, I do the design for Beachline. Oh, you do the design? I do, yeah. So, so really it's not about, like, I really had this great conversation with Amanda. I'm going to put her on our record, right? It's just like... It's seemingly most of my friends are these incredible photographers, yeah. and they. So I'm I'm seeing their photographs all the time, and as soon as it like, the same thing I try to do when I write songs is to like kind of hit people in a place where they feel it. Yeah. When I see their photographs and it kind of is just like bang in the heart, right? I'm just like, do 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 do. Hey, can I use that picture for the cover of our record? <laughs> because it's just so beautiful, and there's something about it that's like speaking to me that like. That feels like the visual equivalent of like what I'm trying to do with the songs. Ever. Yeah. So it's 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 happenstance and it's random, but so far they've happened to be my friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like it, it's all like. 
it's not only from the heart, it's from the deepest, best part of my heart, right? It's like, you know, I, you know, I've wanted to be a writer since I was a kid, you know? So it's like, I, so I've always taken words very seriously. Um, and what this thing is, it's like, right, you start it, you get into like a certain point of your life and you sort of look at it and you're like, what am I doing? You know, am I doing the thing I love? Am I doing the thing to just pay my bills? Am I like, is my heart happy or is my savings account happy, you know? And it's like, you know, what we've, what we've chosen to look at is, is my heart happy, you know? And um, so we've just done that. It's just with really loud amplifiers behind it, right? It's just like, I get to write, that's it, right? I, I, I just try to write words that we're gonna do a show with and people are gonna be like, you know, I, I've, I've been there, you know, I feel it. Like, it's like, it's like, it's, it's like sort of recognizing the, the knockdowns but celebrating the get back ups, you know? Like, that, that's really the best way to put it. Um, yeah, because you know, life, it's about this like, we've all got these heartbeats, right? And we live one time and it's like, I wanna smile, let, let's say my smile to frown ratio, it's gotta be at least 70 to 30, right? <laughs> or it's like, what's the point of it all, you know? So, so I think we're trying to do that. It's like, here, you know, it's been tough, but here's these words through that toughness, like, you take them now and see if you can't smile 70, 30, you know? It's like, fuck it, go 80, 20, right? Go, you know, whatever it can be, but it's like, here's this thing when maybe maybe you're down, like, maybe I'll help you, help, help you get back up, so. I have sort of like um, like a very special perspective on what the songs mean because I joined the band a little bit later. So I was listening to the band before I was playing in the band. And a lot of the stuff that James writes about is like pain, you know, like, but also like redemption and camaraderie. And they're things that are like extremely relatable <clears throat> to everyone. Like everyone goes through a lot of the same things. And when, when you're a sincere writer, it's going to resonate with others, you know? And like I said, and then like getting to like play with these dudes and like it holding up, you know? It's like, wow, like there's a reason this like is attractive to me and to, to a lot of other people. And it's because it's real. It's like sincere and honest. And, and sometimes it's painful, but like that's something that, like I said, everyone has, has been through. And to know that like someone else can feel what you feel and then put it down on paper or like on a record. I'm just going to go more into the uh, record. Like, um, Dirty Cigarettes is my favorite song. Can I get the story behind that one, maybe? Or yeah. Like? well, yeah. I mean, you know, a lot about a lot of it. And I think I think like the first line I had for that song was like, um, um, "Tell me I'm enough. I'm dying to know what it's like." You know, and it was like. You know, I, I'm not trying to come off like, you know, woe is me, right? But you know, like like a lot of us, you know, you have that kind of, I had a really kind of broken childhood, right? And it's like, um, so you look for these things that kind of validate you, and that sounds, that sounds lame on the surface, right? But we all need that thing that's like, we're going through life and we want to feel like we're valued, right? So it's like, um, so it, it sort of stemmed from that, and then I just sort of wrote around that, right? And it's like, um, but that's really like, if there were a thing I sort of pulled away from that that song, it would kind of be like, that's really to me what it feels like. That like, I just like, I don't need I don't need to be special. I don't need to be everything. But like to someone somewhere, I just want to feel like I matter. Um, yeah. So that's the thing. I just I just stretch that sentence out to like three minutes. You know? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>say at least from my perspective and I think maybe you guys would agree with this too it's like if one person you know like if, if it really matters to just one it's like that's it that's enough but to, it's always obviously it's, it's awesome when it's like so far we've been pretty charmed I mean it's been pretty 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 great right I don't I have no you know no no complaints yeah. so far yeah it's just um but you know to branch out on that yeah it's like you know that stuff I, I that's the most special stuff to me, right when you tell me like you know I somebody asked me this like about about our success and I'm like you know what's going to always be the biggest paychecks for me it's like somebody writes me a letter and it's like I read this lyric or I heard this lyric and like it helped me through X you know and I'm like Fuck, that's all I ever wanted to do, you know? I didn't know I'd ever hold a guitar or like learn, not that I can sing, but like <laughs> fake, uh, pretend I can sing, right? I thought I'd write some words down on paper and maybe like somebody somewhere would be like, 
you know, we're, fuck, we're all gonna be all right, you know? Like, we're, we're, if we're together, we're gonna be all right, you know? Um, but then to see it happen, like, tonight, when we thought we were gonna play to Dean, our tour manager, <laughs> and then it's like, a whole bunch of kids are singing those words back to us, I, I, I uh, Another thing uh, I, I forgot to mention before yeah. is, um, none of us were ever, like, the cool guy. Like, we're, we're all, we all come from, like, the background of being like the awkward person or like <laughs> the person who maybe people think like is a weirdo and it, like and then we found each other we're all fucking weirdos and like i think everyone feels alienated you know that's like the people that we you know we embrace it's like we know what that is like we don't want to make you feel like that. we want you to know that you're fucking awesome and yeah. and like the four of us kind of being synergistic about that and feeling the same way is like like when we're writing these things and in the rehearsal space, there's no having to hide it. So when, by the by the time we we make a record and it's on that record, it's it's really raw and it's really real and it's from the guts because we didn't have to hide anything in the rehearsal space. You know, that's a really great thing. So the thing that we do and I, if we ever stop doing like this thing will be over is just being like it's kind of like from guts to record to the listener. You know, I like fucking love that. Like, and if it stops being like. You know, if we try to start like writing hits or being perfect or like, you know, or some somebody in our camp is like, well, if you'd put this hook at, you know, yeah. two minutes and 20 seconds of the song, you'd sell 10,000 more records. It's like, fuck you, I'm gone, right? It's like, we're just like these bummy little punks who write these songs that like, we're connecting with like other awesome little punks and we're just doing this thing. And if like, if right now this is the biggest beach line ever becomes, man, I will die with a smile on my face that I'm gonna need four people to wear in my casket. Like, it's just, it's perfect, you know? So, yeah, Belgium really fucking made it. That's our thing, like, to us, we're still a band, like, playing basement shows, right? It's like, we're still, like, booking shows for our friends, you know? We're still, like, oh, let's go get a drink after we play the set, like, to whoever. It's just, like, it gets really weird to me when bands become rock stars. <laughs> that will never happen here. Like I can't imagine like like when I first met you to just not be hugging and just like it's beautiful. Like yeah, yeah, there's no there's no separation between it's just like I, don't know, I guess we right, right, there's like uh, human being. That's it, right? That's how we see the the thing. Like certainly how I see it. Ruben, do you want to comment? Maybe. I mean, maybe, maybe he's a he's an arrogant rock kid. <laughs> no, I I like. <laughs> no, definitely not. I mean, I, of course. <laughs> you know, I just feel like I've I've been starstruck before. You know, like and it's everywhere. I don't know. It's just it, we're all people. Like you, know, yeah. you never want to treat someone like they're I, less than human, especially someone who looks up to you. You know. I um, think. I'm sorry. No, no, yeah. I think that's the thing. I just wanted to bookend that. Like, I, I, I don't know that I've ever been starstruck, but what I've been is thankful. You know, like, I've seen people that have, or I've heard people that have written things that have, like, fixed me up when I felt really fucking unfixable. And I was like, yeah, I, I want to hug you and say thank you, right? And it's like, um, and I, th I think maybe that's what you mean, but that's yeah. certainly what I mean. Like, it's like, there's a, there's I, a well, beauty in that. When like, I meant starstruck, I wasn't even... Of course. Really not. thinking That's of like musicians, I was thinking about like when I met Robin Williams. You of know, course, I was like, I can say, of course you were thinking of <laughs> movies or yeah. Film or something. <laughs> Did you met Robin Williams? Oh yeah, I was. I was oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, this was like years and years ago, but and it was like in passing. It wasn't something where like you know I got to hang out and talk to him. It was just like that's Robin Williams. Share the story. Holy shit. Share the story. Uh, I was in New York and Robin Williams was walking on the opposite side of the street and I realized it was Robin. <laughs> I was in, uh, we saw your tiny death session and we we're like talking to the guys and we said like oh this guy is like the nicest guy ever maybe he's just <laughs> too nice is, it, is he just like that in real life like this is, he is just James man what you yeah. see is what you get yeah, yeah I, I don't have time to try to be a phony or you know w figure out how I'm gonna cover for some false persona like I um man I want to I want to fall in love on every level you know, I just want to like be in the world and like feel like we're fucking gonna be all right. You know, it's like there's so much fucking junk that's happening. It's like I get here and it's like, man, everything just melts off in a beautiful way. And I'm like, 
that's happened because like a bunch of people plugged in guitars, a bunch of people wanted like held cameras and wanted to talk to us, a bunch of people just wanted to go and hear music and I'm like, do you realize how fucking simple that is to do? Why can't we just like do that? And everyone we've met here, and I hope I'm not jinxing this, has been the sweetest, kindest person. Right, I'm just like, Ruben and I are gonna, we're, we're, we're already working on crafting an open letter to America. <laughs> no, like, we have our assholes too, so <laughs> oh, okay. they're the government. And right that's on. another okay. thing too, is like, fair enough. Okay. Yeah, we are definitely nice people, and like, you know, sure, like everyone can get upset. It's like, not to fool anyone to thinking like we we are not human or we don't have emotions, but like, it's not about you know how you feel at a certain time. It's pretty much just how you treat people. How you, your actions are more important, really, than. Right on. Yeah, sometimes we say to ourselves, I think we're bigger as a band because we're so nice to people than we are at making songs. <laughs> we're just like, people are just like, well, we like them, so we'll put them on this show. <laughs> um, but, but, but that's the thing, right? It's like, why be mean to one another, man? We're all in it together, so. That's a cool state yeah. of mind. Yeah. Sure. Some of my last questions. Sure. Um, browsing the internet, I found this cool video of Billy the Kid. Do you know her? Oh, uh, she covered one of your songs. Um, Get Lost. It was yes. awesome. It was beautiful. What, what do you? What does that do to you? Like such a talented artist, I yeah. really love her. Um, covering one of your songs, so. she's incredible. I don't know Billy in real life, but yeah. we've been writing to one another, and oh, cool. we're we're playing the fest uh, in, in American Florida in October, and she's gonna come up with me and do Get Lost. Oh, really? I, I, you know, look, man, I'll I'll tell you, I was. I didn't quite know how to explain how I felt. I wrote her immediately like, where are you? Because if it's walkable, I'm coming to hug you right now. It, it, it was like, I felt like, I mean, for, firstly, I felt like, oh man, you did that so much better than I did. <laughs> yeah, like, that's what he said. Just, I did. It sounded <laughs> so much prettier and just beautiful. I mean, you know, you've heard her voice, right? It just was like, she, yeah, and she's just so sweet. And I was like, then it was like, man, I, you know, I wish we had time machines to go back and have her on the record. That doesn't exist. So it's like, okay, at Fest, like, let's do that song together. She just destroyed it. It's like... I think James I, said something like, I don't think we can play this song anymore. I did. I mean, I wanted to gift wrap and be like, here, it's yours now. Just like, you know, just like, just film it so I can hear it every time you play it. It was just really, really stunning, especially when she went into the end part where it's like, that, oh, the, the cooing is I was like, like, oh my God. Man. Yeah. She's so incredibly talented. She's super, her voice is lovely. So, actually, I'm going to fest, so. Oh, she'll be there. Oh, please do. Go to the please pool do. party. We'll see you at the pool party. Yeah, and she'll she'll be there. Doing Don't it. miss the pool party. I'm telling you. Go to the pool party. <laughs> okay, wanna, uh, I actually have two last questions. Um, in the noisy piece they did on you, like, which was really nice. Like, uh, is Dan Ozzy did it, or like, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's such a nice guy. He's an incredible guy. Yeah. yeah. He, He's acting like a dick on Twitter every day. But he's like, nice he does. He's got that like goofy, humorous persona, yeah. but like he's honestly the sweet, sweetest heart you'll ever have. Yeah, that's sweet. Um, okay. um, you said that it just uh, took you until you had enough scrapes on you, um, until you had something to say. Yeah. Like, do you have enough scrapes on you left for us to get more of the same material? Maybe? Yeah, I, I do. I think like, without you know, I don't want to. I don't want to twist it to be sad. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, um, yeah, I, I come up. I came up in a really weird, rough way. Um, so, uh, oh yeah, I probably got a lifetime full of things. So, no doubt we can squeeze a couple records out of it. Yeah. So, um, but it's like, look, you know, I mean, this is like, some people go to therapy, some people get high, you know, people do different things to cope, like, you know, we write songs, you know, and that's the thing, so it's like, I never want to look, up, look, be looked upon as like, this broken kind of kid, it's like, you know, this kid, kid, kid had some stuff who like, found a guitar and made it better, you know, and like, that's really what, what, what we do, and, and in that, I hope there's people that are like, I've had a lot of stuff happen to me, I found this record and I feel better, you know, and now, and now I'm picking up a guitar, like, don't let, don't let us be any defining statement in your life, like, let it be like you heard something that, just in, in the same way I would read, I would hear like Paul Westerberg or read uh, Bukowski or whatever, and, and I would feel like, fuck, oh, man, I want to make something now, that's, I hope we do that in some, I hope we do it in some huge way, if we do it in some small way, I'm, I'm happy.
I think a lot of times we get like, I, I would say like that, like I hope when I die I feel this alive, like kids respond to it, I'm like, fuck, that means everything to me. Now it's like, what is the thing you're gonna say that might get me through, you know? It's like, I'm not like, we're here, we're like even. So it's like, okay, I'm humbled that I helped you get through something. Now, like my life's gonna fall off the cliff in a couple of weeks, like, you, you start making art and give me something that's gonna help me get through that because then I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the line you wrote or look at the photograph you took and like I'm gonna feel like, fuck it man, we're invincible, you know? It's like, it's that, yeah. I'd say maybe like to add to that, it's like, um, I, I guess like I, so, I, you probably wouldn't be able to tell but I like suffer from depression and I think like part of it is, um, to me at least, a very special point is like to maintain hope because you just never really know when like when your life will change it literally for me like it's it was a one day to the next sort of thing like I was at a point in my life where like I don't know like what I was gonna do like, I I just didn't see my life going anywhere and now I'm in Belgium I'm in Belgium right now <laughs> playing a rock and roll show to more people than I can count to you know what I mean it's like it's incredible like hold on and also like this is like really personal but like just a few days ago was like the anniversary of a good friend of mine at, uh, you know killing himself like I wish he could see me right now I wish that he could be here you know like because yeah like I said you never know one day to the next like your life can change and there's really like no reason to give up there's a lot of beauty in life Our Dean, you our Dean, right? Do you want to take Munce this? Dean Muncy, we love you. Stay handsome. That's it. That's all I've got. And thanks for getting me so much, so many beers before we played. <laughs> that was that was a voluntary gesture by you, and I appreciate it so much. <laughs> Look at me now, Dean. <laughs>